I'm Joe Israel. I'm a sales consultant with Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. And today we're going to take a look at the brand new 2022 Ford Maverick XLT model. First thing on this truck is the powertrain. It's fitted with a two liter EcoBoost turbocharged engine. Okay. With this particular engine, you can get up to 23 miles per gallon in town and 30 miles per gallon on the highway. One of the most fuel efficient trucks on the market right now. Another thing is that in the future, it will be available in a 2.5 liter hybrid engine too. So has great, great fuel economy options all the way across the board. If you walk around to the side of the truck, it's fitted with 17 inch aluminum alloy rim. And then as we just keep walking back, it has the five digit secure door code. So the great thing about this, and it's one of the Ford favorites, is that you can leave the truck running, lock your keys in it, and walk away. When you come back, you punch in your own specific five digit code, and get right back into the truck. One of the coolest things with the interior of this cab is actually the under seat storage in this Maverick. So all you do, there's a strap on either side of the cab, you pull it, it'll release the seat, it comes up and locks. And you know, they have something similar to this in the Ranger, but it has nowhere near the storage space that the Maverick does. It's good and deep, has places to put dividers in, so you can keep all your all the things that you're gonna store separated. I mean, just an awesome, awesome feature for this. And that's what's so amazing about the Maverick is that for a smaller truck, it has an incredible amount of cab room. So just about anybody can fit in it. As we're coming further back towards the bed, one of Ford's great features is this easy fuel system. They came out with it somewhere right around 2011, and it basically took away the need for a gas cap. It's a very secure system. It basically comes with an outer door and an inner door. As you can see, the, the outer door moves, so anybody can mess with it, but the inner door is locked. The only way that it'll move out of the way is with something the right diameter. So as soon as you take the fuel nozzle, you put it in there and you fill up. Whenever you're done, pull it out and walk away. You're done. So we'll walk back around to where the bed is and there's a lot going on with this bed, okay? Just the obvious things while we're starting off, it comes, this model comes standard with the backup camera that goes with the eight inch screen in the front. It's a locking, power locking tailgate. So I can take the key hit the lock button, and when your doors lock on the truck, the tailgate's always gonna be locked. Has a two inch receiver hitch for the light towing that you can do with this truck. And then when you drop the tailgate, you get to see the unique bed of the Maverick, okay? The bed comes fitted with places to put dividers all the way throughout the truck. So for whatever cargo use, it's gonna take care of your needs. It also has 10 tie down spots so for your cargo it's going to be secure and stay in place another nice thing is you know you have a four and a half foot bed with this truck so it just with the tailgate up it, it doesn't give you a ton of space so what ford did with this is they gave you a, a tie down right here out on the tailgate and you can adjust the uh, level of the tailgate so that in essence, you can extend your bed, gives you a whole lot more versatility. One more thing before we leave the bed, comes right here with interior storage inside the bed. It's got a small pocket in here, and all you do is just slide it back in, turn the notch, and you're good. So now we're gonna look at the interior of the truck and a few of the features. Um, one thing that you'll notice is that this interior doesn't look like anything else in the lineup. This is the Navy Pier interior. It has the medium slate upholstery with orange uh, stitching in it. It really adds a whole lot to the accent. And if you look throughout the truck, it has orange accenting all the way throughout. It has these easier to remove moldings in here so that if something does get spilled, it actually contains it, but then it's also easy to clean out. Everything on this truck was built with space in mind. So you have your two normal cup holders here. 
But then when you look in the doors, the doors were actually designed to handle a one and a half liter water bottle. The next thing is it, it comes with most of the standard features. It has cruise control, um, has all of your Bluetooth, power windows and locks. It has the automatic headlights with the auto high beam, but it also has where when your windshield wipers activate in this truck, it'll actually turn your headlights on for you. All right, so let's just start down here with your clusters, all right? Um, it has the rotary shifter on it, which is really great because it's an electronic shifter knob. It makes it, it gives you more features than the old type of shifter. So I can take this car, I can put it in drive, and then I can actually turn it off. And you notice the first thing it does is it pop, pops right back into park, okay? The cool thing on this shifter is that it doesn't matter if you get in a hurry or what you're doing, if you ever turn the car off while it's still in gear, it's going to shift right back to park every time. You don't have to worry about it rolling or your keys getting locked in here where you have to hit the shifter again before you do anything. Then you move back to the electric parking brake. It's really nice. It's handy. You don't have to come down here and pr push a pedal anymore to set the parking brake. You pull the lever out and to disengage it, you actually push your brake pedal and push the button in and it turns it right off. Then you come down to this next cluster, which the first thing, and I think it's the coolest, is actually the drive modes. So you can come in here and go through your drive modes and it, it starts out with your normal mode. It goes to tow haul. Then you have your slippery mode and then your eco mode, which is great for on the highway. It gets you the most economy. And then the last but not least, the sport mode. So all of these things change up your gear ratios, makes the truck respond differently for different kind of driving situations. So it can cater to just about any type of driver, okay? Then right next to it is traction control. Um, it's always gonna be on unless you deactivate it. And then two of the cooler features here is the auto start stop. Basically, when that is active, it'll be active every time you start the vehicle. But the way it works is when you're pulling up to a stop sign or a stoplight, if the environment in the, in the inside of the car is right, it'll actually turn your engine off. Um, and then as soon as you let a little pressure off the brake, the truck's ready to go. You hit the gas and the, car, and the truck takes off. But the cool thing about Ford is they like to give you options on whether you use something or not. So that's why they give you this button, button here it can let, allow you to deactivate the, this option if you want to. And then right next to it is auto hold. It's another option that Ford has been using for the last couple of years. It's really great for big city driving, okay? So moving from that, we'll go up, up the dash a little bit. It's equipped with two USB ports, the A and the C port. And what these are really good for is charging your phone or possibly using your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay that comes with the Sync 3 system that's in this truck. One thing you'll always notice about, about the Sync 3 system is how easy it is to use. You have your menus right at the bottom of the screen. When you wanna use something, all you have to do is, is touch the button, it pulls straight up, and you have access to whatever you want at the snap of a finger. So that's just a quick overview of some of the features that this truck comes with. It definitely has some more things that, that we could go over with you, but we try to keep it short and sweet and, and keep your attention. If you have any more questions on this truck, please come by the dealership. My name's Joe Israel. I'll be happy to show you this beautiful vehicle.